Starters for this one, first for the Miners on the left, Jackson, Boyd, Kraus, Enrique, and Tack. Tack, a transfer from TCU. The Aggies go with Kaiser, Donaldson, Chom, Inusa, and Strawbridge. The Aggies are without their star sophomore guard, Selena Peterson, who is out sick. And M State finally back here in the friendly confines after six straight on the road and a lot of close losses on the road in the previous couple of weeks. Miners in the orange, and they control the opening tip with Nia Boyd at her third different school, a transfer from Oklahoma State. Both teams defend very, very well. Good strip there by Fama Cham. Aggies allow 63 points per game. The Miners only give up 61 per game. The Miners have held all eight opponents below 70 this year. Avery Krause defended by Sophia Inusa, and she travels. Mama Cham on the perimeter, under 10 to shoot. Donaldson defended by Jackson. Back out for Cham. Circles in the paint. She lost the handle. Teams will play it different ways. Good feed down low. Tack misses the layup, though, and it's cleared by Cham. Delaying the ball from advancing. Let's see if they continue that strategy. Late in the shot clock again. Kaiser, a 19-footer. That's good. Boy, is she playing low yeah, offensively. Molly Kaiser does extra shooting. It's really, really balanced. Is that okay right now offensively? Yeah, I think right now Coach is very happy to have an equal opportunity offense. Maya Boyd with the deuce for the Miners. They really have overdone that in the games I've watched. Good find by Strawbridge, but Inusa misfires on the layup try. Krause, a big guard at six feet tall, throws up a shot, and she will get continuation. So They want to push it at the Aggies again and see if the Mexico State will adjust. And she's out of Saxe, Texas. A really good player, splits the pair. She has a great shot, great rotation on that shot, and she's started to bring the ball to the basket more in this her junior year. Kaiser's game, the pull-up mid-range jumper. That's her to that elbow for those posts quite a bit. They drive it or they high-low it. There you go. And that's Alina Arike rumbling down the lane. Four-court numbers. Donaldson finds Harper, who tries to put it in in midair. And she missed it too heavy. Moshita in the game for the Aggies at the point. Taylor Donaldson off the point. Back to the win. And one. That's Naya Boy. You tap Miners from the perimeter position. She dribbles quite a bit and wants to take it to the rack. There's a heck of a comeback, nearly completed. Stolen by Harper. Ripped it right out of the hands of the freshman guard, Montrose. Sheeta on the blow by. She banks it in. Mo Sheeta. Jody Adams very happy with that, Adams. She loved to see Mo be stronger with the ball. Be a little bit more of a scoring threat because she is a natural point guard. First point in four games for Sheeta was scoreless in the previous three. Both teams three for seven from the field here in the first five plus. Enrique's three is good. Her ninth career, her second make. Too far down, left a three point shooter open, which Enrique can do. Shania Harper, her first two, soft balance down low did them in, but Jody Adams' team will always be well prepared. She draws up some great plays. He scored for New Mexico yep. State because Coach Adams needs some strength to deal with number 21. Now Adele Tack, one of their starting post players, has been in the bench now the last handful of minutes with two personals. That's what's kept the Aggies in these games. That's why they've had a shot in the fourth quarter nearly every game this year is their defense. And a. Adams swings it for Kaiser. Kaiser pull-up jumper again. Wow. She has a half dozen, and they've all been mid on the arc for Boyd. Rims off the three. Rebounded by Adams. That's what the Aggies need. They need Ine Adams to be real strong underneath. Maneuver in around the high hedge. Donaldson finds a crease, banks it in, and one. There you go. End up their possession with the drive to the hoop, most likely. Donaldson knows this rivalry well. Donaldson gets it in for Adams. No, no, no. No, never one dribble in the post. Never, never, never. 
Under a minute left. The Aggies trying to extend their one-point advantage. Big first quarter for Kaiser. Steps back and hits it. Looking for a slam dunk on the alley-oop. Jackson tipped out. Grabbed by Inusa. Shot clock off. Inusa will slow it down. The Aggies will get the final shot in the quarter here. New Mexico State playing good position defense. Coach Adam knows exactly where she wants to go. Better get rolling here. Seven seconds. 1-4 low with Donaldson. Pull up from the elbow. Yes. She's probably one of them. Probably. Yeah. She lives in the gym, I'm pretty sure. She had eight in the first quarter. The junior out of Watauga, Texas. Good move by N.A. Adams. The transfer from St. Bonaventure. To go down low selectively when she wants to. And Adams helps her do that. First action for Grace Alvarez, who did not play in the first match. Leading in is Kraus. High crossover dribble. Can't finish, though. Gets it back. Stripped away by Alvarez. And scooped up by Kraus. Shame. Shame. Great move. Down low for Arike. Wraparound pass. Jackson around the horn. Extra pass for Kraus. And she ties it up. College basketball power. It'll be very interesting. But they have to come to the Pan Am, too, Adam. And Adams down low, and she has four. Good pass there. It's been a well-traveled career for Adams, who got her hand on it and intercepts it. Now she's double-teamed, and the Aggies able to race ahead. Inusa penetrates, banks it in, no call, and Inusa lays it in for two. Flare screen is set to get Kaiser free. Two to shoot. Keep two, and Kaiser's fouled on the jumper, so she will shoot two. Kaiser trying to reach double figures on these two free throws. Nine now for the Watauga, Texas native. It's called on Marks, which she's the one who hit the elbow. I think they just caught a technical foul. They tee up Kevin Baker. I think he was politely protesting yeah. his, uh, his case. Uh, I think they asked him to stop it. That was enough. And I think it was Nate Acosta, the official, who teed him up. And then Kevin Baker's trying to get Julie Cromanhook, one of the officials, to come over and talk to him. And she said, no, we're done. So I don't know if he said the magic word, but Nate Acosta was the closest to him. And that is a costly technical. Whoa. Well, when they ask you to stop, you need to stop. Aggies trying to grow their advantage to double figures. Chom in the oh, paint. Back wow. door for Harper. Ten-point Aggie advantage. Good defense by Sheeta. Eight to shoot for Boyd. Step back three. That's a tough shot. It's a brick. Another board for Harper. Aggies push. Donaldson finds a streaking Chom. Oh. And she was a little bit too wide open there. Coach Adams talks about playing off two feet. Fama Chom should have practiced. That's a turnover, right? Yep, yep. That, that, it is a key teaching point for Coach Adams. Avery Krause has been the offense for UTEP in the first half. She now has eight. She'll receive the handoff here. Trying to turn the corner on Inusa. Great defense by Inusa. Pops it loose. Ten to shoot for Lipe. Whoa. Finger roll no good. Blocking foul down low in front of the Restricted arc. Throwing it up. Who shoots her second free throw. This is her second go around at UTEP. No, but the Miners have the size to at least bang with her. Kaiser on the dribble drive. Hangs in the air and floats it in. Uh, Krause isn't going to get a shot off dribbling the ball. She needs some screens. Ham Alabama transfer from Georgia Southern. Still on the bench with two fouls. It goes up two minutes into the game. Numbers for Sabu Guy. Whoa. Out of control. Throws it for Inusa. Tip by Jackson. It's a run out side by side with Cheetah. And she lays it in. So, pump fake strides. Pulls up. Misses the jumper. Guy the offensive rebound. Can't stick it in. Wiped off the window by Marks. Harper usually makes that one. Miners trying to finish strong here in the first half. Shot clock is off, under 10 seconds left. 
Boyd works around the marks, ball screen. Hands it off to Montrose, who lays it in. Foul issues. She has two personals. And they go to her in possession number one, and she blows the layup try. Yeah. Picked up by Inusa. Great high-low play by UTEP there, didn't Well, it did work. They missed the shot. Tack is a big part of this Miners offense and this Miners defense. Kaiser bounces for Adams, who starts half two. Finds a crease and lays it in at 12 day in quarter one. Circling in the key is Chom. Offensive rebound, put back for Adams. She has eight off the bench. She was a key contributor a year ago for St. Bonaventure. Easy. We're 5 0, but they have lost two of their previous three. Here's Jackson in front of her bench. An air ball. Enrique, the offensive rebound, and she'll shoot a pair. Never escaped the block out by Ine Adams, but she did the entire floor. Harper gets another shot at it and draws a foul. A little bit of foul trouble now for the Aggies in the interior. Three on Harper, three on Adams, and... Good defender on the perimeter. Obviously not as strong as some of the post players that she gets lined up. Three for 11 for the year. And finally gets one to drop in. Maybe the biggest surprise early on this year in non-conference play in the WAC is Utah Tech, formerly known as Dixie State. They're six and two, and they have won three in a row. So they're looking pretty good going into league play, which is looming only a couple weeks away. And he's finding it hard to run this play. Harper, elbow jumper, banked it in. Well, that'll work. Flint in herself. He knew so wide open. Missed it, though. Montrose scoops it up. We've seen Harper for years, so we know what she is capable of doing. And she's been a double-double machine at times during her career. Wide open layup for Kraus, and she's in double figures. Donaldson was looking for Adams. It was stolen away by Jackson, then poked by Donaldson, and a reach and foul is called. Five fouls on the Aggies in the quarter, only one on UTEP for the game. Aggies have committed 16. The Miners have only committed eight fouls for the game. At the point, very wise play right there. Grace throws it away, intercepted by Tack, and the post player goes coast to coast to lay it in. Inusa defends Jackson. Jackson picks up her dribble. And the pass tipped and grabbed by Tack. Smothered by Adams. Dribble drive for Wilson and she ties it up at 37. Ties are all over Jackson. Back door for Enrique and it slips off the cylinder. That's the second tight miss she's had. Run out for Kaiser and she floats it in. 16. The last two possessions New Mexico State defensively has been excellent. Great help. UTEP has had to move the ball about eight, nine, ten passes. Mid-range, Wilson switches in the jumper. We're tied again. Do is get a run out. She thought yep. the ball was going to come to her, and then she could sprint ahead and try to get an easy bucket. Oh, wow. Backdoor, Arika lays it in. Good find, post to post. In the front court for Graves. Inusa, too strong, rebounded by Wilson. Leaking out is Jackson, and she'll spin it home. Here come the Miners. Adams will square. They're looking for Grays, fighting with Wilson down low. Trying to get a post touch. Great verticality again, and then Kraus, I guess. Inusa's only attempted 11 free throws this year, and now 12, and she is 7 for 12. Chom a step back three. Cleared by Tack. She wanted that the entire time. Aggies 0 for 7 from three. And Jackson lays it in. Plus. They started the half with this 2 2 1 press. And it is rattling the Aggies. Wraparound feed goes to Grays, and she's blocked away. 
Another strong defensive possession for Utah. Enrique back door for Jackson. Tend to shoot for Cha. Working on Enrique. Back out on the arc. Donaldson will fire. Kaiser, her second offensive rebound. No call. Ripped in by Krause in Utah. Jackson throws it up. Extremely physical on both ends. And the whistle hasn't been blown on either end. Utah will not be denied going to the rack. They are being very aggressive. Want the Aggies to foul them. Attack for Arike, a lot of contact, and she lays it in right around Donaldson. Kaiser with four fouls, Donaldson with four fouls. Both of those players on the floor for the Aggie. Skidusa connects. The first Aggie made three, and it comes with 3.15 left in the fourth. Boyd hasn't played much in this half. She has the ball right here, defended by Inusa. Boyd to the rim, throws it up. Well, New Mexico State's going to get that shot, so they might as well take it, particularly now. They need the threes. Three, three times. Mm -hmm. And New Mexico State had to bang it each time to avoid being scored on. The Aggies are playing without arguably their best three-point shooter, Selena Peterson, who's out sick here tonight. Pull-up jumper is good for the foul line for Kaiser. Attack with it. Adams trying to poke it. Boy, Tay Gray is working very hard defensively. Undersized in there. Gray's defense tack on the switch, and she fouls tack. And Adams goes off. Amacham came in. It's a fresh 20 for UTEP. And that's offensive on Enrique. Pulling her down with both arms, I think. This game has gotten very physical. Donaldson yes. rims in the triple. One possession ball game. It's what New Mexico State needed all along. Some three ball. Adele Tack runs over Kaiser. That's a blocking foul. That's the fifth on Kaiser. So Tack will shoot two. UTEP not in the 2-2-1 press. Straight, man to man. So it's just one free throw for Tack after the bucket counted. Here's Grays to the rim. Shot is altered, missed it, rebounded by UTEP. Arike cherry picking, and she missed the layup. Pulled in by Inus uh, with a minute 10 left. Four misses by Enrique like that in this Skip half. pass for Donaldson. Step in, triple. Yes, sir. Timeout, Jody Adams. Four fouls on Donaldson. Four fouls on Grace. Kaiser has fouled out with 18 points. Tack fumbled the catch. And it's Aggie Bull in front of their bench. I, I think the Aggies are going to try and get it inside and then get somebody on the kick out. But they go to Donaldson. To the floor. Donaldson throws it up. No good. And Arike grabs the rebound, and then she's fouled. Arike 17 for 20 for the strike for the year. 59%. Not very good tonight. Well, a quick two will extend this game for New Mexico State. Let's see what they do. Do not need a three yet. Grays, Donaldson, Inusa, Chom, and Strawbridge. Grays will fire a three. And you could still play a full shot clock of defense if you chose to. Grays finds Strawbridge. Strawbridge scoreless in the game. Mid post for Chom, using a lot of clock here. Back door, Inusa trying to save it, can't do so. There was plenty of time to make a stop. Aggies need a foul, they haven't done so yet. Boyd, the ball handler. Boyd still with it, the Aggies haven't fouled yet. 
Enrique right back to Boyd. Boyd 74%, one for three in the game though. And she makes the first. So the Miners struggling from the free throw line overall tonight, but making them down the stretch here in the fourth. Aggies out of timeout, so they cannot advance the ball. Donaldson, quick release. Donaldson missed it short. Harper the offensive rebound. Right back to Donaldson. Missed this one too strong. Tack collects. And the Miners will win their eighth in a row against the Aggies. Another tight loss. 57-52 in a low-scoring affair.